indications is king. Pamiętajcie, że w tej, te, w tej konkretnej technice lista wskazań jest kluczowa. There is a lot of clinical experience behind indications which are written in the books. Że zanim stworzono w tej technice listy wskazań, to no, to jest poparte bardzo bardzo dużym doświadczeniem klinicznym. Okay, so respect the author who was staying in his clinic for tens, dozens and dozens of years, okay? Who thought about these indications? And knows what he's talking about. Więc tutaj proszę szanujcie autora, który naprawdę spędził kilkadziesiąt lat w klinice yy, i nakuwał te punkty, kiedy on tworzył te listy, znaczy kiedy nakuwał tych pacjentów, on naprawdę wiedział, który punkt na co wpływa. Bo przy tych punktach 77, 24 i 25 jest też napisane, że są bardzo dobre na ból barku. No really I na przykład żadna technika odbicia czy obrazowania tego nie tłumaczy. So imaging is smart, imaging is good, you understand what's happening in the clinic, but also really respect the indications. Więc tutaj odbicie jest sprytne, jest no tłumaczy nam część wskazań. Ale proszę Was, żebyście poza tym akurat w tych technikach naprawdę te listy wskazań szanowali. The indications were achieved in blood. <laughs> One były zdobywane krwią. They, 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 people really worked and worked and saw and, and understood that, hey, this treats this and why, and we don't know why, but so the indications are important. Okay. So we have the opposite leg to the torso, as you see. As I told you, the toes are really good for treating the head. And, um, and you can understand by the painting. I don't need to elaborate more on that. I tutaj oczywiście, no, rozumiecie to z obrazka, nie muszę o tym mówić więcej. There are three famous points which are called Sancha. They are found here, in between the knuckles. Mamy na przykład trzy bardzo znane punkty, które nazywa się Sancha. Znajdujemy je tutaj na poziomie błon międzypalcowych. And this is actually another uh, um, imaging. Like I can use the upper Sancha to treat the shoulder. Okay? Tutaj oczywiście możecie na przykład robić tak, że użyjecie górnej sanczy do leczenia barku. A dolnej do leczenia problemów ginekologicznych. I oczywiście to też mogę obrócić. I ten punkt tutaj jest bardzo dobry do obfit, przy obfitym miesiączkowaniu. But it's also really good for treating shoulder pain. Ale jest też bardzo dobry do leczenia barki. So, essentially, you can use any bone, any long bone in the body as a microsystem. And we will talk about it, we'll elaborate that when we'll talk about the numbering system of tongue and puncture, but you can use your head and understand some of the indications on the forearm or the arm or the plantar surface of the foot or the dorsal surface of the foot. And you understand the imaging done. I tutaj idea jest też taka, że potem można tą technikę rozwijać i można wybrać dowolną kość długą i zrzutować na nią całe ciało. Możecie wybrać na przykład, nie wiem, piszczel. I to, co jest istotne, to to, że potem, potem patrząc na listy wskazań przy punktach, jak się nad tym pochylicie, zastanowicie się, jakby wyglądało przedramię, albo sama strona grzbietowa, albo na przykład dłoń czy podeszwa stopy, zobaczycie, jakie wyobrażenie było zrobione, skąd się to wskazanie wzięło. Okay. I gave you few ideas of how you can image. Ja tutaj pokazałem wam kilka opcji tego odbijania. There are more. You can 
learn and study Dr. Pan's acupuncture. Imaging is so big over there. Jest ich oczywiście dużo więcej. Możecie pójść na szkolenie z doktora Tana. Tam to odbicie czy odwzorowanie to jest jeden z kluczowych konceptów. Bardzo dużo się o nim tam mówi. Czy macie jakieś pytania o to odbicie odwzorowania? And if I'm a bit pressing stronger, maybe uh, the sensation is a little, uh, a little bigger here. Okay. And here, is this painful? It's not painful. Okay. And here? No. It's, it's uh, pretty same. Okay. And if I press on your buttock, pretty full. No pain. Interesting. Many, many patients who have the <laughs> lower back radiating and buttock pain, they have the, uh, the iliotibial tracts, uh, ITB, painful. Mm -hmm. Bardzo ciekawym wielu pacjentów z bólami odcinka lędźwiowego i rwą kulszową. Mamy um, też bóle, które lokalizują się w okolicy pośladka i na paśmie piotrowo-piszczelowym. Again, vertical to the Painful? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you sit? Because I don't know. How can I help you? Slowly, slowly. Masz prosi, żeby usiadł, bo nie wie jak mu pomóc. Is your uh, tailbone painful? Not at all. Czy jest ból kości panowej? Nie. I think it's normal. Here? Perfect, ok. Any point place? Ciekawy przypadek. Lie down again, please. Połóż się jeszcze raz. Left leg. No, no, wait, wait, wait. It's okay. Let's leave him. Let's not make a change. I'm pressing here. The great little hunter. Yeah. Is this painful? No. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, to hunter uh, to the uh, coccyx. One, two, three. Periphomis. No pain for periphomis. No pain. But you know, it's the worst to get the patient after another acupuncture because he's like 50% better now. So maybe. He was punctured now? Uh, two days ago. Kiedy tego ogłosiłam? Wczoraj czy przed wczoraj? Przed wczoraj. Two days ago. Oh, no, it's okay. Is it painful here? I guess it's normal. Normal. Okay. I just want to know where it's painful. <laughs> it doesn't happen much that I don't find it. Rzadko się zdarza, że nie ma żadnego objawu. Is this painful here? No, when you when you just no, it's it's painful mostly when I when I try to uh, step out of the car, and that's uh, that's really really painful, and when I try to sit down in car, and uh, when I changing uh, when I change the position. So my only objective. Uh, uh, finding is that it's hard for you to raise your leg. Jedynym no. takim obiektywnym znaleziskiem, obiektywnym objawem, który mamy, to to, że jest ciężko yeah. unieść prawą nogę. That's, that's, that's very weird. Usually I find pain somewhere in long... Dziwne, bo zwykle you know, gdzieś it, na przebiegu it, też it, są um, it, it took one month. Uh, it, it was much worse. Okay, it was like worse and now it's getting better. Yeah, it's definitely getting better. Okay. Sweet, that's good. Okay. Okay, line your back again. Pałóż się proszę na plecach. I'm intrigued. That's interesting. Okay. Jestem zaintrygowany. Okay, but still, raise your right leg okay. again. No, yeah, it mm -hmm. This is painful, right? Yeah, this is painful. Okay. Give me your hands. How is your digestive system? Um, I um, I don't have uh, much complaints. That's good. Okay. When I press here, is this painful? It's uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> it's funny. 
Here it's less funny. Yes. Much less funny. And here it's not funny. It's it's not at all. <laughs> here nothing. nothing. Right? And if I just go a little bit higher here and mm -hmm. here, this is annoying. Yeah. And this is much less. Yes. Okay. And this is painful. It's not painful. But look, this yeah. is nothing. Yes. This is something. <laughs> <laughs> and this is annoying, and this is much less. Yeah. Okay. And I bet that this is annoying, and this is less. That was quite similar. Even though right leg similar. Are you sure? Again, one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah. Similar. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. But most of the other mm -hmm. signs I got. You're like Victoria, you want to convince oh. him to your... No, no, I'm not. I'm not convincing. I'm not convincing. I'm not <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> okay. Let's go. So, tape? No, no tape. I tried. I really wanted to put the tape somewhere. Okay. 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 No, I'm not going to put the tape somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Do you have Chinese style needles? Because these ones here are are the silicone ones. Yeah, they're soft. I need strong needle, like a stiff needle. I say. But anyway, it's okay. My needles are fine. Okay. Oh, you just mentioned the size. Yeah, yeah, I didn't say. That. Okay, let's let's go for it. Okay. I won't explain now. I I will explain after we learn these points. Okay. No, I will say these are the liver zang points. Okay. He had some liver confirmation on his fingers. Okay, maybe I use the mail. Yeah, yeah. These are, yeah, okay. So uh, so he had some liver confirmation in his palm and when I also palpated under the right rib cage and I uh, palpated the gallbladder area, both were reactive. Okay. Buddha says that anticipating something is the source of suffering. Buddha Anticipating. Anticipating. It, it, it's waiting for something to happen. That's why I'm not looking for immediate improvement. If it happens, I'm the happiest guy around. Okay, but also for my patients, I try to tell them, look, I'm really happy that something now will be better, but tell me over the week, how are you doing? Ale tak samo mówię naszym moim pacjentom, że bardzo się ucieszę, jeśli w trakcie wizyty się poprawi, ale obserwuj się cały tydzień, co się zmienia. Ok, let's start. Boli? Nie. Ok, dawaj. No, that's ok, to just be now.
Okay, before we proceed, before we proceed, and you mentioned we continue all right? How is this now? You remember? How is this? Remember this was? It's um, less less funny. Yeah. And if I get here. It, it is less reactive. Less reactive. Yep. Okay. And the one up here is important for me. Is this? Uh, do, you do, it with, do you do it with the same strength? Fabian, you want? Okay. Bloodletting. Uh, I will mm -hmm. teach you today just, just scratch on the surface of bloodletting in master tongue because there's a lot to study and uh, uh, it, it's an amazing. Ja dzisiaj opowiem Wam trochę o skrwawianiu w metodzie doktora Tunga. To jest też bardzo duży temat, który jest niesamowity. To skrwawianie w wynikach czasami zmienia przebieg całego leczenia. Sometimes in just one treatment or a couple of treatments with blood letting you get Amazing results. Really good results. Czasami przeciągu jednego lub dwóch zabiegów, jeśli wykona się skrwawienie, będziecie mieli niesamowite wyniki. Now there are lots of contraindications for bloodletting. Do skrwawiania niestety mamy dużo przeciwwskazań. Do not bleed anemic people. Nie należy skrwawiać osób z anemią. Do not drink. Do not bleed drunk people. Nie należy skrwawiać ludzi pod wpływem alkoholu. Do not Drink, bleed people who are who took drugs. I nie należy skrwawiać ludzi pod wpływem narkotyków. Do not bleed pregnant women. Nie można też skrwawiać kobiet w ciąży. Do not bleed people who are very, very tired. I osób, które są bardzo, bardzo zmęczone. And more and more contraindications that you should learn bloodletting to to use them. So don't bleed people unless. They're strong. They feel well. I jest jeszcze trochę przeciwwskazań. Ogólnie sprowadza się to do tego, że żeby wykonać technikę skrwawienia, musi mieć poczucie, że pacjent jest mocny i że czuje się dosyć dobrze. Okay, in the bloodletting class, I will teach you. Okay. Obiecuję wam, że na oddzielnym spotkaniu ze skrwawiania was tego nauczę. Okay, let's maybe because I see some of you falling asleep. Widzę, że część z was zasypia. Just eating lunch. Po zjedzeniu lunchu. Uh, so, um, <laughs>